Why, hello there, Internet. This is Scorpio speaking, here with you today for another tech review. Last time we looked at the Apple HD Cinema Display, which to say the least turned out to be a bit of a disappointment. It didn't really live up to my expectations and didn't perform quite as well as I had hoped. But today I have another Apple product to share with you, which I think might just redeem the entire Apple brand as a whole. We're going to be looking at the Apple Remote. This is a remote control for Apple products. It retails for about $20 or $25 if you're Canadian because fuck you. And you can buy it at any electronic store that sells things like computers, iPods, dildos, etc. And I've been looking at this product for a long time, uh, looking forward to it. So I'm very happy to have this product with you today. And we're going to start off with an unboxing because I'm a cunt. So to start off, you just remove this plastic top. Then inside we have the Apple remote itself. Very pretty, we'll get more to that later. Then inside we have this little Cracker Jack book that talks about the remote in case you're retarded. And then there's this leaflet discussing the warranty that you're never going to use. And that's it. So let's move on to the remote itself now. This is a very beautifully designed piece of work. It looks like it's made out of a single billet of aluminum. It's a seamless design. The only real holes in this unibody are for the buttons themselves, of course, the IR blaster at the front, and this little battery compartment at the back that looks like it can be opened just by inserting a coin in the back there, turning it counterclockwise, which is really nifty and convenient. At the bottom, you can see that it says it's designed by Apple in California, but it's also made in China, which might be a bit of a concern if you are against slavery. I'm not, so let's continue with this review. On the front, we have our buttons, which creates a very familiar design that harkens back to the old iPods of yore. We have this four-way directional click wheel, a center button for selecting, a menu button to the left, and a pause slash play button on the right. It's a very attractive remote. I give the design a 10 out of 10. It really couldn't be executed any better. But you know what? Enough about the design. Let's go on to the actual function of the product. So here we have our Apple product. This is an Apple Pink Lady. And we're going to see how well this remote control works. So, uh... Let's go left. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I forgot, silly me. Um, you have to press the play button first, okay? So let's press play. And then left. Hmm, doesn't seem to do anything. All right, let's go right. Uh, no, uh, up. And down. Uh, jump. Nothing. Well, I gotta say that's a little concerning, but you know what? The problem might be that uh, this isn't a genuine Apple product, and that might be causing some problems. So just just give me a second here, okay? Okay. All right. There we go. That looks a little more genuine, okay? So let's try this again. Uh, play. And then left, uh, right, no, okay, seriously, what the fuck, this piece of shit doesn't even fucking work, yeah, fuck you, Apple, piece of shit. No, I'm sorry about that, that was rather unprofessional of me. I seem to have lost my temper there a bit, but I'm sure you can understand my frustration when a product just simply does not work as well as advertised. As you can see, this remote was unable to control an Apple product, which is rather disappointing. You know, I thought that after my fiasco with the Apple HD Cinema Display that things would have gotten better with this company, but that doesn't seem to be the case at all here. So I'm going to be forced to continue this review in a more creative way.
Now, as you can see, the Apple remote is quite resilient to repeated beatings. Although I think it's fairly safe to say that now it would not function even if it had in the first place. And there goes the center button. Overall, I am quite disappointed with the performance of the Apple remote. I awarded zero points, and may God have mercy on its soul.